This is Shred, and you're watching How to Make Scary Sounds. Not that kind of scary sound. In this video, we'll use ideas from 20th century composers to conjure up pure sonic Satanism. Perfect topic for Valentine's Day. We'll cover Bernard Herrmann's Excel technique in Psycho, Igor Stravinsky's Firebird chords, and of course Arnold Schoenberg's 12 tone row technique. Grab the full tabs and my compositional notes below on Patreon. That's where you sign your soul away to me. In return, I'll fill your mind with infernal metal music theory knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna want to watch the full video here because I've got a special guest at the end who's gonna help me out with some scary sounds. <laughs> Now the first idea you can employ to make scary sounds in your music is XLs. XLs are just a series of four chromatic notes played as a chord. This technique creates a biting dissonance, like what we hear in the music of Psycho. So I'm playing two XLs. The first one is this. E, F, F sharp, and G. Perfect music to get naked to. Nice work, Bernard Herrmann. Also, shout out to Rick Beato for turning me on to this concept. Another great way to achieve sadistic evil in your riffs is the 12 tone row. Of course, this was invented by Arnold Schoenberg in the 20th century. Now this idea always sounds super metal to my ears, and the idea is to play all 12 notes of the chromatic scale, but you make a riff out of it. Guaranteed to scare away hungry cougars. <laughs> now check it out. I've composed a classical guitar etude that uses all of these scary sounds. Tremolo picking through Viennese trichords. Finger planting through X cells. Did he just say sex cells? I'll leave the tab below in the description. The Viennese trichord is a three note chord using the root, minor second, and tritone intervals. Ah. 
Now, the Viennese trichord. The idea is you've got the root B. B stands for B. The flat second C, and then the tritone F. Of course, F stands for F. Now, you can play these in a lot of different <clears throat> variations. Now, as Vagina Day is rapidly approaching, you might want to give these a spin on your new date. Igor Stravinsky is one of my all-time favorite 20th century composers. The end of his Firebird Ballet contains a series of super evil sounding triads over a fixed root. Now this is such a cool concept. Even though all the chords are major, uh, it has a very dissonant effect because they're not related. So first, a regular B major. Always with the B pedal tone. Next, you have a C chord over the B, which gives you like a Phrygian or a Phrygian dominant sound. And then we've got a C sharp over B, which gives you a Lydian tonality. This is one of Bach's favorite chords too. And then the tritone chord, an F with a B in the bass. F B stands, stands for Fuck. Each new chord implies a new mode. This takes me on a chaotic, satanic journey. Thanks, Igor. Please don't bust me for copyright. Ah, oh, shit. Need some more scary sounds. Man, who do I know that could play some scary sounds? Bradley Hall. Ah, fellow music YouTuber Shredmaster Scott. What's happening, brother? Ah, the usual, you know, super busy with YouTube stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, dude, I'm making a video on scary sounds and I'm fresh out of ideas. You got anything? Hmm, scary sounds, you say? I think I may have something suitable for that. <laughs> My job as a music educator is to expose you to sounds. And I believe there's a tremendous amount of metal music that could be made using these 20th century techniques. Who knows, these concepts may help to cultivate a unique sound in your own playing. Grab the full tabs and compositional notes below on Patreon. And one more thing, V-Day is coming up soon. Of course, V stands for so kick that cougar off the pedestal and score some shred swag instead. Hell, that'll probably get you even more cougars. Until next time, shred till you're dead.